Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, I was not expecting to get around to this today, uh, because I thought it was coming out like tomorrow prop, like way into tomorrow proper. But um, welcome to SF9. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that this is coming out early, because uh, I don't have to rush through all the reactions I have to do tomorrow. But SF9 have made their comeback with the title track "Puzzle" as well as an album of some sort. Um. Don't know if I'm going to get around to listening to the album over on here, but the MV for sure I am going to watch here with you all today. So, bring it over to the big screen. OBS is working perfectly. Love to see it. Now, SF9. Got to know them a little bit through Kingdom. But that's about my extent. I only know bits and pieces about them. I know some of their songs. I quite enjoy Summer Breeze. I, in fact, I was listening to that when I was making lunch earlier today. The song's really good. I, Ever since I heard it, it's been one of those songs that I kind of just instinctively go back to and listen. Something about this song is just so satisfying to listen to. The... <whistles> just that immediate whistle, the like, synthy whistle you get at the beginning of the song. It's just... Mm. That and Oh Solo Mio... Very good songs, but we're here with a new song, Puzzle. Um, this will be the first piece of SF9 content we check out properly. Taeyang was part of the Love Killer collab stage at NBC Gaio uh, with like Moomin and Sana from Astro and uh, Johan from We I. But as a group, this will be the first time checking them out, and I am tremendously excited. So here we go. Enough stalling. 4K English captions. The full works. Three, two, one. Crank up the volume of my headphones all the way. Oh? What you know about it? Let me talk about it. Right now. It's an idea. Always. Ooh. I think it'd be in time of she won't be a cocky man. Very smooth intro. It's no good. Or opening verse here. Nice layered vocals there, uh, really low and like kind of scratchy middle range. Hello, Mr. Taeyang. He's the only one I recognize out of SF9, so I'm gonna, I might be referring to him a lot in this video, but that's fine. I love the way they ended the phrase with that <sighs> with the little breath in the first half of the chorus. That's really nice. Who is he? The one that's got like the layered dual vocals. That's really cool. Very clever way of breaking apart the rhythm of that line there to better match the song. So having like the trailing words come in way later than you anticipate them to. Pulsing type of feel in this bridge here, very nice. Nice transition into the final chorus. 
give it a little extra seasoning on it. I really enjoyed that. That was really cool. It's like the vibe of the song is definitely one of those that's like it's it's almost a song you you're like instinctively want to like body roll to. It's that it's got that kind of energy to it. It's at a very mature but yet also like a very it's not confidence in the way that like it's it's got the kind of like confidence and like you know essential mature energy that makes you want to put like an extra like bit of flair on your step when you're walking through town like this is a walking pace song but it makes you want kind of walk with like you know maybe a thumb in the pocket and just kind of like strut around like bop the shoulders a little bit that kind of song you feel i very much enjoyed that but i want to go back to one point because i'm legitimately curious and those of you sf9 fans out there in the world please do let me know um i think i went a bit too far back but did i not go back far enough um I might not come back far enough. I might not come back far enough. This part, there we go. Oh, I don't know how much I like that song. That way of like vocal layering is so cool. Like I've never heard anything like that in like the few months that I've been doing this and in like the last couple years that I've been like really closely following the K-pop industry. Like this entire phrase here is just the way the vocals are layered. Like the top line for that part of the vocal itself is already fairly low in the re like musical register. But then you get this like almost growling undertone that's even lower, an octave lower in fact, that gives it almost like, it makes your brain rattle with like the effect it has. And it's offset with this, you know, like really like airy, delicate vocal in the section before it. That is so cool. Like, who is he? And is his voice naturally that low? Like, does he have parts in other SF9 songs where his voice goes this low? Because that is cool. And this song is like, and whoever's behind like the audio engineering and the production, re if like this is like his natural tone. They really managed to get something cool out of it. This is very nice. I'm, like, I'm kind of obsessed with this part, I'm not gonna lie. Like, don't get me wrong, like, as someone who is, like, a perpetual tenor and choir, I love a high part, or, and especially in, a, like, a boy group song. I love when, it's, like, a vocalist goes super high, like, Jongo and Symphony Number no. 9 from the Wonderland on Kingdom, that arpeggio, one, two, three, four, step high note. Super impressive. Sun Yul on his solo stuff from Up Tension, where he sings in like a f original female register. Very cool. But I can also very much appreciate the low, the opposite lower end. Like recently, uh, in eighties is Halazia when we had Yosa. That's really cool. 
This is also really cool. very cool oh i don't i think it's a part of it has to do with the fact that i could never sing that low confidently like i have a naturally fairly high like vocal tone when it comes to singing so i can't do stuff like that and it makes me very envious of people who can sing the lower registers or like the bass parts in a choir but, oh sf9 thank you very very much so i am very happy with what I have listened to today. Mm. We're getting a lot already at the beginning of the year. It's been a week. Today's the 8th. It has been one week into 2023. And we've already got some absolute mint songs. Which I'm hoping this kind of pace can like we can is sustainable throughout the rest of the year. Because 2023 could be a magical year. But... That's it for me today. I think I fawned over this song enough for today. Uh, if you did enjoy want to see more channel icon up there, you can find the back catalog of stuff I've watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.